thank you for that introduction and this opportunity to share some thoughts and ideas with you on digital audio today. As with all good stories, this one begins with Once Upon a Time. So I hope you've got a cup of coffee and are able to join me for about 15 minutes. Ancestors gathered around fires sharing stories of the day's hunt. Stories of travels, distant lands, stories of dangers with warnings to the younger generations. And no doubt, stories of laughs and entertainment over some fermented barley, perhaps. Yes, storytelling is as old as humankind itself. Pigment was used to adorn cave walls to share stories, myths, legends, and no doubt mundane day-to-day -day activities too. Outlined hands must surely rate as the first representation of an awareness of self and the public cry of, I was here, remember me, remember my story. The ancient Greeks and Egyptians carved their language onto walls to tell their stories. Over time, stories became history and history became legend. And for the longest time, all storytelling was oral, passed from generation to generation, often in the form of music or poetry, to make it easier for the storytellers to remember and perform the whole story. The Epic of Gilgamesh, for example, was carved into walls and would take the modern reader about five hours to complete. And over time, as the stories change, evolve and are updated, the way they are stored and shared also changes. From cave paintings and wall carvings to written published words, from myths and fairy tales to the Bible, William Shakespeare, and then newspapers, photographs and magazines. Through the tradition of storytelling, humanity gets stronger and tales and myths are created and shared with new and exciting innovations in technology. It wasn't long after the first radio transmissions in 1901 that we had families huddled around their wireless listening to the news and plays and serialized books. Then along came movies and television and cassettes and VHS, music videos that told stories, games where you're not only an integral part of the story, but are immersed in virtual reality. And social media has become the modern way we share and overshare the stories of our lives in tiny bite-sized chunks. Audio similarly underwent a revolution. From Walkman to CDs, iPods, the internet, and the ultimate device for sharing stories, the smartphone. What a wild ride it's been. And along the way, at the heart of it all, is people connecting through storytelling. So what now? Notwithstanding the COVID-19 pandemic and the surge in working from home, 2020 was already shaping up to be the year of audio, with four major drivers or indicators. Amazon's Audible predicts that this year, audiobook downloads will exceed ebook downloads for the first time. Google Voice first search is expected to overtake text search. In other words, hey Google, is going to be used more to search the internet than typing on a device. The rise of home devices like Echo and Google Home are changing the way people engage with audio. And perhaps most excitingly is the rise of voice search optimization, where Google listens to every podcast, transcribes the audio into text, indexes it, and makes the spoken word searchable. With the surge of on-demand content and the number of podcast channels Listening is done with far more intent now. No one accidentally listens to a podcast. Digital audio is rapidly becoming a do-while activity. That is, we listen at the gym or while cooking or while commuting. And yes, the commuter is still a major consumer of audio, although the COVID-19 pandemic is likely to forever shift those listening patterns. Change and growth bring with them new words and language. My least favorite new phrase is screenless media. And while talking about what things are not, much of the new digital audio content is not advertising, but rather conversation. Other words that are significant and inform the direction and implementation of audio include long form and deep dive conversations. Evergreen content, purpose, intent, and perhaps most importantly, are trust, value, and authenticity. The concept of branded podcasts is growing rapidly, and perhaps Walter Isaacson's Trailblazers collaboration with Dell Computers, and even Malcolm Gladwell's series with Lexus, 
gives some insight into how these might look in future. Other new manifestations include TV networks like CNN adding standalone audio to their stables. Some retailers are building podcast studios in their stores for customers to use, in some cases even making them available free. And if you're in any doubt about the rise of independent voices, Joe Rogan's recent $100 million deal to move from YouTube to Spotify is a whole new ball game for video and audio. How to deploy audio and what current best practices are is on people's minds, and for good reasons. It's growing rapidly and new players and offerings popping up all over the place. The really good news is that most of the friction has been removed and digital audio players are pervasive and integrated into mobile device operating systems now. So don't let technical issues distract you. These are, in some cases, becoming commoditized. Perhaps more than ever, digital audio supports the claim that content is king. A number of interesting examples of how meaningful content was rapidly produced and deployed in a COVID-19 context are Alec Hogg's Biz News collaboration with Discovery to produce a daily podcast titled Inside COVID-19. A little closer to home, two of our clients, one a private and the other a government school, have both been using digital audio to communicate with their parents, teachers and pupils as the yes-no, yes-no confusion of back to school has unfolded. There is something almost Churchillian about how effective these calm, controlled and timeless messages have worked, completely dwarfing all other communication with their communities in most instances. While digital audio stats, tracking data and conversion measurements still present substantial challenges which the IBA is addressing, we're seeing clients analyze call center data to identify current top FAQs and then produce a series of podcasts to address these. The podcast is then deployed into the ecosystem to reduce the calls while giving a far longer and more detailed information than might have been gleaned from a phone call. What insights have we gleaned from all of this? Well, despite podcasting having been around for about 16 years now, approximately 25% of all podcast channels on Apple were started within the past year. This is evidence that podcasting and digital audio have entered the exponential growth phase. There has been a significant shift from music only to voice and mixed playlists. Spotify epitomized this, IMDb are starting to index podcasts, and Amazon is even entering the fray. We're now in an era of hyper-focused audiences. For example, we have a client producing a series targeted at 17 people, and another one who made a podcast with a target audience of one person. It doesn't matter how many people you reach, but that you reach the people who matter. Digital audio is now an essential ingredient in any media plan. Irrespective of time, technology, or motivation, we are all storytellers. And to be understood, we must first be heard. Thank you for your time. <laughs>